Hi, I'm Eric, and welcome to The Product Talk. In this channel, I'm going to take you through my actual journey of developing brands and products for consumer products companies. I'll use actual examples of brands and products launched during the course of my career and the lessons learned along the way. My goal is to help others with what worked and what didn't work when creating and launching new products and the marketing principles that were in play that led to their success or failure. I'll use examples of products I worked on. So this is not based upon theory, but actual execution. It's been my experience that failure is a better teacher than success if one is willing to honestly evaluate the metrics and learn from it. Whether you are preparing to launch your first product or are an established product or brand manager, there should be something of interest that you'll be able to apply. I'll interject marketing principles and techniques that help explain the success or failure of these products. The principles that I'll cover apply from the product concept to complete launch. These same concepts apply for products being sold online in places like Amazon and your own website, all the way to national retailers like Target and Walmart. The principles and conditions that create successful new products are really quite similar no matter the scale. So here's the plan. I'm going to take you from my first marketing job right out of college, where I had very little experience, and I was tasked with developing new products, all the way up to my current position where I oversee hundreds of products. The interesting part of my journey is that in each new position that I attained while moving through my career, it happened to be at a larger brand and company. To my surprise, what worked at a smaller brand also worked at a medium and a large brand. That the basic marketing principles of developing successful products and brands were not that different as I scaled to larger companies. What did increase was the risk and the visibility at that level. A product failure to a large brand could be embarrassing to the company and even career limiting as the product or brand manager. This premise at times holds back larger brands from pushing forward with breakthrough new products because of this risk factor and people are worried about their careers. You know, I've been fortunate to have some new brands and products cross the $100 million mark. When everything just aligned was based upon the marketing principles and it was executed well. It's important to note though, that many of these successes were done as a team and not just an individual effort. My point here is not to take credit for the work, but to explain what worked and what didn't work so we all can learn along the way. Well, that's a quick overview of what to expect on this channel. At this point, please proceed to episode one and follow along our journey of developing successful new brands and products. Thanks for watching. And my hope is that you'll be more successful by spending the time to watch each episode as they're released in succession. If you'd like to share this channel with other marketers, just go ahead and go to youtube.com forward slash the at symbol, the product talk. If you just send that information to your fellow marketers, they'll be able to find our channel immediately and be able to locate us. Also, be sure to like and subscribe as it helps others be able to find this content. And don't forget to hit the notifications button because that will notify you on future episodes as they're released. Well, thanks again for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's episode and we look forward to doing many more ahead and walking through our journey of learning about how to do successful products and brands, whether it's on Amazon, all the way up to national retailers. Thank you.